Hi, I'm Richard and today we are going to understand what mechatronics engineering is. This video is dedicated to all the boys and girls who are choosing what to study at university. Of course, it can be useful to everyone else. I remember the first time I read this name, the Mechatronics Engineer name, right? And I said, wow, it sounds so bad. Mech Mechatronic, Mechatronics, Nix. I can understand, it's not easy to choose a subject with the strange name. Besides, if you try to search online, you could be more confusing. I've read several notions and I think there is some confusion. So let's try to understand what it is exactly. The Mechatronics name sounds like the union of different subjects, right? Yeah, it's correct. This branch is the union of multiple disciplines. Take the electrical field, then the electronic field, the mechanical and the computer science. They converge into one specific branch. The mechatronics engineering. Um, let's try with an example. Do you know Tony Stark? He's the main character of the Iron Man movie, right? And he builds uh, several armors inside his uh, technological, super technological laboratory. Okay. He's a mechatronics engineer. He studied mechanics, computer science, electronics, and he combines all his knowledge to build incredible intelligent machines. The main concept is that this subject of study um, requires different knowledge and that's the key. It's difficult to see a product with only one mechanical, um, electrical, electronic component. And that's the reason why the mechatronics engineering is becoming so important. Just one clarification, um, this doesn't mean that the other engineers are useless. That's wrong. What I mean is that many companies are looking for graduates with different knowledge uh, because they can use them all, okay? They can use all of their knowledge to create innovative technologies. But what are the main areas of work and what about the salaries and which subject should I study? Mechatronics graduates are mostly in sectors such as uh, robotics, uh, nanotechnology, automation, um, airplanes, yeah, and biomedical systems and many other, but if you're really good, you can work whatever you want. The salaries are not bad, but I think they will increase. Um, the world needs us to evolve. What about subjects? Uh, um, you will have to study a lot of mathematics, uh, really a lot. Uh, um, physics, uh, programming languages, um, I'm studying the C language right now and also sensors, microcontrollers and many many other subjects. There's a lot to study and there is a lot to know. Um, but in my opinion it's one of the best branches to study for the near future and I explained all the reason some minutes ago. That's it, if you have any question please write it in the comments below. But keep in mind that you have to study what you love and which at the same time um, allows you to have a good future. That's it. 